Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Troy. Hey, listen, Marjorie Treason Green is at it again. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to set up this clip. Just listen to this. I'm completely against the war in Ukraine. I want to see it come to an end. I want Russia and, and Ukraine to come to peace talks and end this war. But you know who's driving it? It's America. America needs to stop pushing the war in Ukraine. Blaming the United States of America, her country in which she serves in the government with oversight ability over the military, in Congress, she's blaming the United States of America for the conflict in Ukraine. I'm pretty sure, you know, it was the Russians who actually invaded that country who were responsible for that war, not the United States of America. This is literally Russian talking points. Russian propaganda talking points being echoed by Marjorie Taylor Greene a sitting United States member of Congress. She's echoing talking points that are being shared widely in right-wing fascist circles in the United States because the MAGA fascists in the United States have chosen sides. They've chosen to be on the side of Russia. They've chosen to be on the side of Vladimir Putin over the United States. And so they are doing everything they can to undermine the United States to undermine the United States and to prop up Putin and prop up Russia, who is an enemy of the United States. Giving support and comfort to the enemies of the United States is the literal definition of treason. Marjorie Taylor Greene first said that she wanted to have a national divorce to split the United States in two, into two countries. Now she's saying that the United States is responsible for the war in Ukraine not Russia, repeating pro-Russian talking points that it's actually America's fault that this war is occurring. When are we going to be able to just finally say that Marjorie Taylor Greene is a Russian asset? Can we say that yet? She is a Russian asset. Whether she knows it or not, she is working for Putin. She is trying to drive the destruction of the United States from within, which would be the greatest thing for Putin, for Russia, for authoritarian regimes all over the world. This national divorce would be a gift to Vladimir Putin. He gets to destroy the United States of America without firing a single shot. This is something that the Russians have wanted to do for decades. They've wanted to do this, and they've especially ramped it up under Putin, who has engaged in nonstop psychological warfare against the United States, using social media as his weapon. He's engaged in this type of warfare against the United States since he became president of Russia two decades ago. And now it's finally coming to fruition, where we have Manchurian candidate type members of our government who are siding with Russia over the United States and literally cheering for the destruction of the United States. She is a Russian asset committing treason. Marjorie Taylor Greene needs to not be in Congress anymore. Period. She needs to not be in government. She needs to not be a public, public person. She needs to be recognized for what she is, which is a Russian asset and a traitor to the United States. She's in a tremendous position of power. Her words, her words herself that she's been using are damaging to the United States. She's operating as a tool of the Russians to damage the credibility of the United States and damage the morale of the United States citizens, giving aid and comfort to the Russians who are our enemies. Listen, it is not the United States. It is not America pushing this war in Ukraine. It is Putin. This is Putin's war of choice. There is nothing that he could have gained out of this conflict that they were seeking from Ukraine that they could not have gotten through direct negotiations and diplomacy. He chose to go to war, to expand Russian territory, to expand Russia through Ukraine up to NATO. That is his goal. He wants to take Ukraine to further his territory and to push his territory up against NATO countries. That's his goal. If Russia surrenders tomorrow or ends the war tomorrow, the war is over. If Ukraine surrenders, Russia takes over Ukraine, period. That's how that goes. That's the reality on the ground. Russia is the aggressor. The war is Russia's, no one else's. And it's certainly not the fault of the United States, the fault of NATO, the fault of any other nation other than Russia for starting this war and continuing it. We have an obligation to NATO, to Europe, to our allies, 
to supply Ukraine with weapons and materials as much as possible to protect themselves against Russian invasion because Russia putting tanks on the border with NATO after they conquer Ukraine drives us a hell of a lot further to World War III than what Biden is doing in supplying Ukraine with military uh, with military supplies and support, which is why that Ukraine funding is overwhelmingly bipartisan. Passing Congress in huge numbers in both the House of Representatives and the Senate, it's widely supported by Republicans, including Mitch McConnell, Mitt Romney, uh, lots of Republicans in the Senate, almost unanimous in the Senate, but also many, many Republicans in the House support that Ukraine funding as well because it's vital to our national security interests. It's vital to the national security interests of the United States that we continue to support Ukraine. So no, that is not the United States pushing the war in Ukraine, that is the United States acting on behalf of our allies in protection of our allies in Europe to protect them against Russian aggression. Russia, Russian aggression, which Marjorie Taylor Greene is full on 100% supporting. She is a Russian agent. She's a Russian asset. Let's just come right out and say it. There's no way around it at this point. Marjorie Taylor Greene works for the Russians. Whether she knows it or not, she is a Putin tool. She's committing treason. She's literally a member of Congress committing treason on behalf of Vladimir Putin. She's an enemy of the United States. Period. Full stop. For Midas Touch, this is Troy. Remember, smash that subscribe button to keep supporting independent media. The best part of waking up? Maggot tears in my cup. Check out the new Maggot tears mug available now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com. It's 100% union made right here in the USA. I know I'm not tired of winning yet. How about you? Get yours today.